Welcome to the Daily Message. Today I conclude my reflections from the history of the Mass having to do with some of the Eucharistic liturgies of the very, very early Church, the first couple hundred years of the Church. My exception is today because I'm going to be quoting something from uh, a ritual of baptism. It comes from a document called the Acts of Thomas, which was not written by the Apostle Thomas. Uh, it actually was written in the third century, probably in Syria. The reason why I cite this particular passage is because of the way the author refers to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is referred to in the feminine. And so, uh, it, it's, it's noteworthy that even though this isn't a Eucharistic liturgy, that this is the way the Holy Spirit is addressed. And so I read this selection from uh, the Acts of Thomas. And the apostle rose and sealed them. And the Lord was revealed unto them by a voice saying, Peace be unto you, brethren. And they heard his voice only, but his likeness they saw not for they had not yet received the added sealing of the seal, which means they had not been baptized. And the apostle took the oil and poured it upon their heads and anointed and chrismed them and began to say, Come, thou holy name of the Christ that is above every name. Come, thou power of the Most High and the compassion that is perfect. Come, gift of the Most High. Come, compassionate mother. Come, communion of the male. Come, she that revealeth the, his, the hidden mysteries. Come, mother of the seven houses, that thy rest may be in the eighth house. Come, elder of the five members, mind, thought, reflection, consideration, reason. Communicate with these young men. Thank you for watching today. I hope that you found these short snippets and reflections on the history of the Mass to be uh, helpful. Have a great day.